Yesterday I was talking to Congressman Robert Pittenger with regard to uh, some of the uh, uh, present day issues coming forward before Congress. So we were talking about the IRS, uh, where we left, left off. You were saying you don't support the uh, uh, appointment of a special prosecutor to investigate what may or may not hap have happened uh, concerning the, uh, uh, the, uh, the examination of some Tea Party groups. Well, I think Chairman Camp, the Chairman of Ways and Means Committee, and Chairman Issa, yeah. uh, I think they're doing a, a very good job. Uh, Chairman Issa is, of course, head of oversight. Yeah. Uh, they're doing a very good job right now. I'd like to see what emerges from that, and they need to, to subpoena yeah. some other individuals to come forward. Uh, it may not be necessary. If it is, I'm, I'm not going to stand in the way. What, what do you stand with regard to uh, Attorney General Eric Holder's uh, um, confiscation of some uh, email and phone records uh, of some reporters? Yeah, uh, totally over the top. I mean, these people are highly threatened. Uh, they are going after uh, anybody who has the slightest uh, capability of, of impacting, uh, delivering uh, their, their own interests and objectives. Yeah. So, um, maybe uh, uh, some, even though these, uh, the, 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 some of these reports may have jeopardized national security? I think it's easy to say that. I'd like to see the real basis for that. Yeah. Uh, certainly they want to cover that in any way they can, but in great measure, I think they're totally over the top. Okay. I, I want to talk, we, we've talked before uh, on, on past in, in past interviews about sequestration. This is a continuing uh, negotiation uh, between Republicans and Democrats uh, as to uh, finalizing some sort of budget agreement here. Um, where are we now? Because y you have said in the past that you're hoping to be bipartisan and, and sort of forge a bipartisan effort here. So where are we on this? Well, certainly I'm, I co-chair uh, this effort, um, a bipartisan effort with freshmen. Yeah. There were 36 of us who signed a letter to the president imploring him to address the debt. Uh, Regrettably, he's never even brought up the debt in the State of the Union or his inauguration. Frankly, when he met with all the House Republicans yeah. a month or so ago, we met with him an hour and a half. Did you send the same letter to Republican leadership? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. We sure did. Uh, sent it in Imploring the House Imploring them to do the same thing. Absolutely. That's, that's same letter yeah. went out. Okay. And, uh, but when he came to meet with us, he wouldn't even bring up the debt. We brought it up. In fact, his comment to us was, you know, I'm really not concerned about balancing the budget. How do you respond to that? Hmm. Now, where, where's your basis for finding common ground and effort to build from? Uh, it's a different uh, philosophy. Of so I, I'm, I'm getting I'm getting the impression there that we're 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 still far uh, uh, far away from an agreement here. Well, let me just say that uh, 17 trillion dollar debt sh is an enormous weight. On this country, on our pre on our current economy, yeah. it's one of the reasons why we're so sluggish with two percent economic growth. Why the job creation has not occurred. Uh, it's the slowest uh, return from a recession yeah. since the 1930s. There are reasons for that. It's overregulation. It's a, it's this enormous debt. It's the call. It's the interest cost on that debt. There are many reasons that the maybe well-intended people. Uh, haven't done what is really necessary to do to free up our markets and create jobs. Congressman, it's always great seeing you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. That's our end of conversation for today. We'll be right back.